headset very surprising i would think in this type of environment that you just want to go ahead and hear this game and not worry about all the outside noises well i mean one of them has that the headset on right like that's the oh, it's on his neck yeah yeah it's around his neck so like no it's wonder. just you when you're when you're talking with your opponent, right? Like mm -hmm. you don't put on the no, game no, no, music no, 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 no. while trying to try stage. You it. just try to figure it out. You, I mean, that that only works for people that are just like, I want this stage, or those that are like, just pick one, mm -hmm. or you know, like a lot of times when when I end up playing people, I'm like, dude, just don't pick Lilat. <laughs> but when they, but but that that that's that's the trick. Because when I say that and they still want to strike, I'm like, oh, they're gonna counter pick Lilat later. Thank you for that data. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have ourselves a button check to start off with. The Money Store, a uh, NorCal native as well. Uh, I forgot what his old tag was. Wasn't it like Gargito or something? Or uh, am I thinking somebody else? Yeah, I couldn't tell yeah. you, but the Money Store is going to be rocking with the bomb right now. Just getting a quick button check. It's going to be an interesting match just because they both can really just mess each other up. Uh, Rob is going to be controlling the space with the laser and the gyro, but once Krom is able to go ahead and get in, Rob's going to have a very hard time to get him off him. Neutral air, not the greatest get off me tool. Mm -hmm. And especially given Krom's like, speed and the, the power of his sword, right? He doesn't actually need to make that many correct guesses in order to break through his zone. And like you said, Miho, once he gets in, the character piles on so much damage, either through a direct combo that can like, set up kills or just his advantage state. Uh, so much. Uh, so much pain from the normalized hitbox on his sword, unlike Roy. Yeah, I mean, really, his only fault is recovering, but as we've already seen, characters with, you know, quote-unquote bad recoveries still do quite well in the meta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to hop into this one right now. Kiriflax sticking with a Rob Queen against the Money Store's Krom. FD still gonna, going to go ahead and be the pick. There we go. Money Store opening up with him there. Immediately, Kiriflex answers back with the top of his own. Yeah, but then Money Store ends up getting to an early lead, but right away, Kiriflex is answering him right back. And you can already see the, the respect Kiriflex has for the block strength that Krom can bring to the table, right? Whenever he gets tapped on his shield by that Nair, he just rolls away. He doesn't even try to punish it. Alright, air dodging to the left to make it back a little quicker. And here, we'll try an opening possibly with the Gyro, but. And now the money store is not giving him time and space to really just think out his options at the moment. Oh, I'm trying to contest that falling there, I think. But money store is looking to find that follow up off of the grab. I like this now, Kiriflex. Yeah, just jumping over that, recognizing that, hey, since I'm already in the air and he didn't hit me, I might as well just narrow my way back down. Down throw. It's going to be the mix. Just an up tilt leading into the up air, taking that stock away. Great stuff from Kariflax understanding and just knowing that the Money Store is going to match for dear life to get out of that grounded state. Mm -hmm. It is a 50-50 all the berries in this game because you can either not mash and they'll mess up their uh, their early punish or they'll they'll read you not mashing and hit you with an up smash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up smash or even the down smash really depends where they are on the stage. Well, that money jab starts pressure. Threatening all the jabs finally. Forward smash to break the shield. One more to take away the stop. That was a great observation by him because, again, in the previous stock, Kiriflex answered uh, shield pressure by rolling. And Money Sword took note of that and got a very strong punish for it. Side B sending him right back off stage. We can get another one, possibly? No. The Money Star just aired out straight to that ledge to make sure he ends up getting back onto the stage. I really like this from Kiriflax. Threatening going high to land down with a possible neutral air, but just retreating back to that ledge. This gyro at my face. He's gonna go ahead and eat a laser right afterwards. The money store sitting at 129, eating that back air. Fortunately enough, it is not enough to take that stock. Gyro sending him the opposite direction as well. Yeah, because Kiriflax was facing outward when he Z dropped it. And the Gyro, just like in the previous Smash game, sends in the direction of Rob's facing. You know what? That is exactly how Krom's F tilt works. If it hits you the way he's facing, you know, you can <laughs> off the side too. I never knew like, this whole time, like, you know, the uh, the Falchion was just a Gyro. Yeah, no, but if Krom closes his eyes, you go straight up. 
Ooh, the money store. Very slick conversion right there on the neutral. He's pulling up into the back area as well. Trying to end the stock very early with a forward smash. Why not? Alright, keeping him in the air with these up airs. Kirifax is struggling to deal with all of these disjoints at the moment. He's trying to go very aggressively off stage as well. Catching the jump. Kiriflex has to really get as much momentum as he can in these uh, these ledge trapping situations, especially since he hasn't managed to hit the Money Star far enough away where he could get an edge guard on oh, Aether. Money Star, the forward smash, finding the mark this time around, getting that neutral get up. Yeah, beautiful charge, and it would have actually caught a lot of jump options as well, which is something else that Kiriflex was using. Um, very good stuff by the Money Star. Right, so Kiriflex uh, looks like he is. Thinking very carefully. I'd assume we, we get a character here. switch. We're going actually to Battlefield, so we'll see how what character he, uh, he goes to here. Because I can see, I can see. Rob, Rob does fairly well on this stage. Rob too. does really nicely yeah. here, yeah. And then Pit also has a lot of sharking he okay. can do with yeah. his platform. So he's going to be going for the Pit instead, opting over to his tried and true. I mean, theoretically, you know, the Pit arrows uh, on an offstage Krom can absolutely wreak havoc on it without you having to commit too hard, right? You steal a double jump with the arrow, and you can just take the stock there. Yeah, one against Krom is actually very nice. Because once you wipe that double jump, it's actually very difficult for Krom to make it back because the only way he can recover is straight vertically. But of course, you have to get him off stage first, and the Money Store doing a good job of holding the center stage to start off this game. There we go. Snare. Oh, I like that follow-up. Getting the down tilt, and there we go. The nair right the afterwards. Dodge. Oh, he's going to jump, but using the orbiters to possibly get him on stage. You know, it's a little bit too far to try to make it happen. Yeah. I like the idea, though, trying to use that wind box, that just that pushing box to send Krom oh away. <gasps> the arrow ends up catching him, and Kira following up with the neutral air as well. That is 10 years of shooting arrows at <laughs> work right there. I wasn't even thinking about that as an option. The loop around the boomerang. All right, Kira, I see you. What was this game one? Yeah, that, <laughs> because, I mean, everybody knows right now that Rob is uh, very, very good. No. So it he makes is, sense. You, you, you do you know, It went down to the high. wire, but you know what? That, when you see stuff like that, oh, you no. just appreciate when the character loyalists just know exactly how things work. And yes, that was unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, Money Sir didn't realize his double jump was gone. And, you know, when you try to use it at the last moment and you don't see the ripple, you're like, oh, rip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, neutral air. And you know what? Looking at it, I'm not sure if it's just Money Store missing his spacing, but since Pit is a smaller character and a little shorter than Rob, these neutral airs that he's tossing out that were essentially shield poking in the last game are just going clean over Pit's head. Yeah, I mean, another factor too is that Pit has a lot better uh, of a trotting game going back and forth than Rob does. So uh, Kiriflex has that confidence to trot back and forth just barely out of range of a lot of these sword hits and pick up whip punishes afterwards. Or, you know, find one of these parries trying to get the punish on that double jump. Money Surge is barely sneaking by, but this is so scary for him. He has to make up, again, a three stock comeback and he's at that 70% range where he could be edge guarded for the third time in a row. Yeah, Dash is back in the find. It's Mark taking away that stock. And, you know, in the last couple of those interactions, especially with the arrows, it's so difficult for the money store to go ahead and deal with them. Not only do they just swipe your jump, it messes the recovery because you go into panic mode once you do get hit by that arrow. I want to come back. I might lose the stock. What is happening? You know, the thing I, I noticed, the arrow, because it hit Krom behind him, it turned him around so that when he upbeat, his back was now facing inwards. When he landed on stage, it would have normally been the falling sword hit that would have kept him a little bit safe. Now went the wrong way. Yeah, the money star yeah. was just not ready for that. He hit up B immediately, did not notice he had to reverse it. Yeah, exactly. And then Kira Flax was just like, I get to charge my forward smash now because <laughs> you didn't put me in any sort of block stun. And it's just such a fantastic showing by this pit. Those arrows again and again off stage, just shooting it straight out and then looping it right back around really messing with the Money Store's awareness. Right, but there is a complete 180 from the Rob going over to the pit. We're going to game three now, G-Pick. Mm -hmm. Three edge guards back to back to back. It's going to be really hard for the Money Store because now, now he knows like if he's caught off stage at those mid percents, around 60-70%, that can be his life. 
I'm sure Smashville has his counter pick. Oh, he's off stage yet again. Ends up trading with a single hit of the fair. Here, Fox understands he was in a great position to punish the up B. Uh, this ends up backing right off. Air dodge is going to kill the money store. You got to be careful which direction you're going in. Mm -hmm. In that case, it was just like a neutral air dodge, but he did it right after he was hit with the uh, arrow. I think he was maybe expecting a tech situation instead, and that put him way too low to come back with the up B. Yeah, really, the, the key difference from Kiriflax switching from the Rob over to the pit is just the edge guarding ability. The fact that Kiriflax can now go so deep, just threatening against Chrome. Uh, it's a fantastic tool because Chrome, as we've already said, does not have the greatest recovery. Once you're able to take away that double jump or just occupy the space that he wants to go to, he's most likely going to be losing these stocks, and the arrows have just been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Just in terms of uh, giving him, uh, Kiriflex a way to just keep applying pressure to the money store, especially in this disadvantage state, where he's the one who's supposed to be like struggling to come up with what to do. He's putting the money store on lockdown as he makes his way back to the stage. There goes the back air, taking that one away, following up off of that jab. Great stuff on the money store to go ahead and try to keep himself into this game, but he's going to need at least 50% on this stock to have a chance, and, you know, from the last one if he ends up losing it. Oh, it's some quick work right now coming out from Chrome. Yeah. Money Sir looking to try to keep this corner carry going. Finding a lot of shield pokes now, given the amount of pressure he's been putting on Kiraflax. Great juke right there. Doesn't find the forward air right afterwards, though. The air dodge yet again. And that is something that the Money Store is going to have to learn. That is two stocks in a row now. Yeah, so unfortunate to see. And Kiriflex is, of course, just cool as a cucumber right now, recognizing, like, hey, I just got myself a big lead. Oh, man, could it go ahead and yep. find that forwarder, and that is going to be, be it. it. Kiriflex winning decisively on that last edge guard and moving onward in the winner's bracket. The Money Store... Another NorCal representative unfortunately going to be